welcome back to another video and one of the best RPG series ever created, in my opinion, Final Fantasy. So here I'll show you my collection of Final Fantasy games, starting with Final Fantasy X for the PS2. Right, so this one includes, as you see here, a bonus DVD which contains interviews, uh, trailers, previews of other games, I think an art gallery and a theme song for Final Fantasy X. Okay, so here it is so now. Um, uh, if you've noticed as well, my game comes from the PAL region uh, because I'm in uh, New Zealand, hence why. All right, so there's a PS2 case there. Uh, as you see in the back, um, there's a you know a, a bunch of uh, different information, um, you know, blurb there, a couple of screenshots, um, you know, a couple of FMVs, and obviously the um, Sony Computer Entertainment um, holographic sticker. Right. Anyway, let's see inside. So inside, <clears throat> a couple of things. The first thing is that this DVD supports two DVDs, right? So, sorry, this DVD case supports two DVDs, as you can see here. Um, <clears throat> now, there's also a placeholder for a memory card. So, just in case you want to go to your friend's house, play the game, share the experience without having to start from the beginning, you can dump your memory card in here, and you can take it with you wherever you go. Now, um, as you can see here, you've got the, the bonus DVD, the Beyond Final Fantasy DVD. And you have also got the game disc itself, all right? And on the left-hand side here, you have the booklet, as you can see here, um, and also the um, uh, little artwork, uh, artwork card, in, uh, you know, showing Yuna Lulu and her Moogle, as you can see here, right? And on the back just shows you the complete official strategy guide. Now, I, I actually, I'm pretty sure I have the strategy guide somewhere in the house, uh, so that'll be in um, uh, in one of the other videos that I'll make. All right, so there it is. There's the card. Now the booklet itself. Um, yes, I bought this game secondhand, hence why the booklet looks like it's been treated poorly, as you can see here. But um, it look, you know, besides that, uh, everything else is uh, it, it's pretty pretty good. It's it's intact anyway, right? No ripped pages or anything. Uh, there's a there's the inside of the booklet uh, instruction guide, whatever you want to call it. Setting up basic controls, obviously field screen characters, battle system, status elements, abilities, aeons, sphere grids, uh, mini games, split ball, favorite game, chocobo racing, god I hate that, especially when trying to get Titus's um, celestial weapon, and credits, and a whole bunch of customer service numbers, right? So there it is, there's my copy of Final Fantasy X for the PS2, okay? Right, next up, the first sequel ever to a Final Fantasy game, in this case Final Fantasy X, this is Final Fantasy X 2 for the PS2, again, right, there it is. Now, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I bought this game new. Uh, yeah, it could do with a bit of cleanup, um, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I can't remember what, what, what that's off of, um, that sticker there, there's a price sticker up here, I'm pretty sure of it. Got this from EB Games, as far as I can remember. I can't remember which EB Games, but it's definitely EB Games. Um, there it is. There's the back of it. Right there's the front, and again there's a PS2 uh, official license uh, product sticker from Sony. And inside, oh, here we are. Slightly different. This case doesn't have a memory card holder, as you can see here. And this game again is in the is the PAL version, as you can see here, PAL, right? Um, now, in terms of the booklet itself, all right, we get two things in here. There's, uh, I'll start with this one first. Uh, this is basically a um, uh, an advertisement for the guide for Final, v Final Fantasy X2. Uh, now, again, I'm pretty sure I have this guide somewhere in the house, so um, I'll combine that with the, um, uh, another video uh, showing uh, showing my guides. Right? Anyway, there it is. Okay. Right. The booklet itself. Right there it is. <clears throat> Quite thick. Uh, starting from the front, starting the game, content, start menu, all the jet, you know, basic controls and all that, uh, story so far, calm, three different characters, all the um, supporting characters, game progress, main menu, battle systems, chain attacks, status elements, address spheres, oh yeah, I remember that, uh, garment grids, remember that as well, accessories, oh look, there it is, I'm pretty sure that's Biggs and Wedge. Can't remember which one. Big switch, big switch, either one of them. Uh, mini games, sphere breaks. I used to hate that game. 
Uh, and then a bunch of credits, obviously, customer support, and a couple of, um, uh, well, you know, FMV screenshots in there. Alright, and there it is. That's uh, Final Fantasy X2 for the PS2. Right? Okay, now, the third game in my collection uh, is Final Fantasy XIII Limited Collector's Edition for the PS3. Right, there it is. Now, yes, Force Age, yeah, the box, it's in decent shape, it's not bad. I mean, it's got a little crease there, as you, hopefully you can see that there, there's a little crease there. Uh, but overall, it's it's not too bad condition. Right, there it is. I, I try to keep my games in, in, in a good condition. Uh, but there we are. Right, there's the back of it. Uh, it's a one-player game, obviously, a couple of screenshots, um, bonus contents. You've got here original sound selection soundtrack CD uh, with tracks specially chosen by the composer. A hardback book entitled The World of Final Fantasy XIII with artwork across the production. Uh, what is that? Three highly collectible art prints, uh, eidolons, uh, you know. And then unique brand of the LC, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Showing this most iconic symbol from the game's storyline. Okay. Anyway, let's take them out and see what is actually inside. There we are. Okay, so let's start with the uh, original sound selection CD. Now, this is an oddity, I would say. Okay, there's a CD there. With most other bonus soundtrack CDs, they only come with the CD itself and the sleeve, obviously. This one, right, besides the CD, which is right there, okay, this one comes with a small leaflet with a list of tracks in the CD. There we are. And when I open this, right, it, it contains all the composer notes on each track. There we are. It's a nice touch. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just quickly zoom in there for quite, there we, there we are. Look at that, that's brilliant. Right, you don't get a lot of those um, nowadays, right? But there's, and th on the back, obviously, those are the 10, um, sound, you know, 10 songs that are inside that CD, inside this original sound selection CD. Right, but there it is. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a. I don't see a lot of these. Right, but uh, when you do, it's a, it's, it's a nice touch um, from Square Enix. Right, there it is. That is the original sound selection CD. Okay. Next up, the game itself. There we are. There's a the case there, not to be sold separately, obviously. Um, if we open it up, obviously you get the Blu-ray disc for the PS3, and you get the booklet as well. Now, booklet is uh, is, is fairly thick. It's not too bad. Uh, actually, instruction manual. Maybe I should call it instruction manual from now on. Uh, let's see if I can remember that. Right, uh, inside of it, there we are. We've got contents, the usual, setting up the prologue. Uh, all the characters, Lightning, Snow, Sarah, um, Vanille, Hope, uh, Fang and Sash. We've got the controls, obviously, main menu, exploration, Chuckle writing, the map itself, the field, reading the battle screen, battles, uh, tech chains, paradigm sh uh, specifics, oh yeah, paradigm shifts, I remember that, uh, status elements, the idol on self, the gestalt mode, and what happens if you win, choosing roles, couple of survival tips, customer service, Leona Lewis, wow, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Uh, and, oh look, wow, there it is, Square Enix Products, that's pretty cool, I'd like to have that Shiva motorcycle. Um, Star Ocean, and Complete Guide, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I have this guide, but uh, I'll check, I probably don't. Anyway, that is the instruction manual for Final Fantasy XIII for the PS3. Alright, uh, next up we have the hardcover art book, right, called The World of Final Fantasy XIII, as you can see there, right, so it's, uh, it's not too bad. There it is, and inside, let's see it. Here we are, a couple of artworks, very nice. Sarah, Sid, Jill, Yag, Gallanth, Rigdy, 
Nora, who else have we got here? On oh, the Nora fighters, yep, world itself. Hanging Edge, Pulse Vestige, Sunlith War Escape, Yashif Massive, Palampolum, Nautilus, Creatures, all the different creatures, oh, just one, all the transports, Chocobos, and there it is. And there we have the art book, the hardcover art book. And here we are, we've got the two decals um, of the LC, um, I guess, yeah, you know, emblem, okay? And finally, the art prints, right? Now, the art prints uh, shows you the characters along with their um, respective eidolons, as you can see there. All right, you've got Odin, Lightning, and on the back is... I can't say that. I don't know how to say that. Hecaton. Hecaton here. I, I don't know. But that's Vanille's one. Uh, that's Alexander. You've got Shiva there. Uh, you've got... Uh, now this I can say. Brynhildr. And you have got Bahamut. Yeah, but there we are. Those are the three art prints. Um, printed cards, I should say. Showing the Eidolons. And that is, yeah, my copy of Final Fantasy XIII uh, Limited Edition. Alright? Right. Now, moving on to the next sequel, which is Final Fantasy XIII 2. And again, this is the Limited Collector's Edition for the PS3, as you can see here. Um, there's a box here. Now this box is slightly different, as you can see. It comes in a more sturdy, sturdier box. It's 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 card box instead of a a, a thin a thin one, as a uh, like the um, compared to the uh, Final Fantasy XIII. Um, there's there it is uh, showing showing the back there. Right. There's a front. There's spine. And let's see what is inside. Right. So a couple of things. Um, now, the first thing here, uh, as you can see, there's the sound card, uh, soundtrack here for Final Fantasy XIII 2. You only get the, the CE this time. There is, as you can see there. Right, uh, there's a list of tracks on the back. Okay. Uh, you've got here the, these are the six postcards. I'll just take them out. There it is. Right. They are actually postcards. Oh, well. Yeah, you could say they're postcards. There it is. There's the back of it. All right, we've got hope. The back's fairly standard. We've got lightning. No. And you've got Sarah. Oh, and snow. All right, there we are. So that is a six postcards right there. Okay. Uh, next up is the game itself. Let's just put these back. There it is. There's the back. Again, not to be sold separately. Okay, obviously you get the Blu-ray disc. Uh, you get the instruction manual, the someone call it instruction manual instead of booklet. Alright, pretty thick. So um, there it is. Alright. Now yeah, can I just say that the production quality of both the first game and this one is top notch. I mean, you know, from the booklet itself, as you can see, it's a, it's a good read. It's nice and thick. Uh, lots of contents, you know, um, obviously with the characters, they've got a little blurb and, you know, it's, it gives you a, a lot of information in the book, with, in the instruction manual, which is, um, yeah, which is, which is lacking nowadays. Everything's digital. There it is. Field. Hopefully you can see that. There we are. Chocolina, ha, huh. remember that. The casino battles. Monster allies, paradigms, paradigm shifting, different roles, statuses, Crystarium. Hints and tips, battle tips, casino events. 
official guide and whatnot. All right, so there it is. There we are. That is the uh, the game game case itself. Uh, you've also got here the art book. Now this is a soft cover book. Now I, I don't know why they went with a soft cover book. Should have stuck with the hard cover like the um, first game. But anyway, here it is. It's uh, again, it's in perfect condition. The inside of it. There we are. Alright, nice hard work. Yeah, Shiva. Pretty sure that's anima. Could be wrong. Nope, just the spot. Different weapons. There we go. And finally, you get a lenticular art print of lightning. Uh, hopefully, I can take this out. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so. There we go. Nice touch. And that's pretty much everything you get in the limited collector's edition of Final Fantasy XIII II for the PS3. Okay. Now, we're still in the PS3 medium and still in the Final Fantasy XIII series. This is Lightning Returns for, for the PS3. Um, it's called Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII, right? Uh, again, for the PS3. Now, yeah, I have never played this game before. Uh, not because I don't want to, but because I can never find time. One day I'll, I will, but um, yeah, I, I stopped at Final Fantasy XIII too, and then I, I bought this because, again, it was part of the series, and, um, but yeah, I, I just never found time. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to boot up my PS3 again at some stage. But anyway, here's the inside of it. Um, you know, I obviously get the, um, this is basically, this is brand new. Never used once, right? There's the booklet there. Um, here's the back of it, right? And setting up uh, the controls, the field controls, the field itself, battle. Battle screens, battle basics, uh, switching schematas, attributes, overclock, notes, and yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I mean, not a lot to, to show there um, in terms of uh, in terms of the game, but yeah, it, I, I heard it's uh, well, I've, different people have different uh, opinions, but it it looks to me like it's a good game. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this game, but um, yeah, I guess I'll find out when I when I when I actually play the game. When I finally get to play the game one day, right? So there it is, Lightning Returns. Okay, changing consoles now to the PS4. I have Final Fantasy XV, Day One Edition. There it is. Now, in this case, the Day One Edition uh, grants you the access to a bonus content. Now, that being the Masamune Weapon for Noctis. There it is, includes bonus content, right? Um, now, before we get into the contents of the case, uh, this game comes with an interchangeable cover. So you can either have the regular cover or the plain cover with just the Final Fantasy logo, right? Okay, so let's open it up. There we are, right? So there's the game there. Now, if I if I remove the game itself, you can see the second cover. Now, I'm going to put this down here, pretty quickly. I'm going to take off, uh, take out the uh, the booklets and whatnot, and I'll show you the second cover. There it is. There is the second cover for the game, right? As you can see, right? There's the uh, normal cover, and there's a second cover, right? Okay. Now let's uh, let's talk about the contents. Let's put all of these things back. Put the Blu-ray disc back. Okay. Now. The um, the booklets itself, right? Uh, yeah, there's not not a lot that comes with it. Uh, but starting at the bottom, we have the warning leaflet as usual. Okay, uh, we have the download code for the bonus weapon, right? 
We also have the, uh, what is this, the leaflet uh, showing you Kingsglaive, uh, advertising for Kingsglaive Blu-ray, okay. Uh, we have this, uh, it's like a fold-out showing all the different Square Enix buttons from Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, World of Final Fantasy, I Am Setsuna, what else we got, Final Fantasy XIV Online, Dragon Quest Builders, and Kingdom Hearts HD. Okay, there we are, and finally, we have a fold-out that contains the signatures of the people involved with the game. There we are. Alright. From the Final Fantasy XV team. Nice touch. Very nice touch indeed. Okay, but yeah, but essentially that is what you get with Final Fantasy XV Day 1 Edition. Now, I know there is a collector's edition out there uh, uh, showing you, uh, giving you the, I'm pretty sure, the Noctis uh, figurine, uh, but unfortunately I don't have it because A, it's expensive and B, you have to buy it from the Square Enix store. Um, and yeah, I just uh, didn't get around to, to buying it. I, and I don't know if it's still sold today or uh, I'll probably have to buy it from like Trade Me or eBay or something like that, right? Okay. Next up, we have Final Fantasy VII Remake, okay? Uh, second to the last one, I promise you, uh, this is for PS4, right? It also comes with bonus coasters. Ta-da! There we are. Okay? Now, I'll, I'll show you, um, I'll show you this a little bit later on, okay? But there it is, there's the Final Fantasy VII Remake game, right? This is back cover. Now, if I open this up, uh, it comes with two discs, okay? You've got the data disk, and you've got the play disk. All right. Uh, you don't get a booklet uh, as well, uh, but what you do get is a uh, obviously the warning leaflet. Uh, what is this? The and the pre-order now. Uh, play the beta for Avengers. Uh, there it is. All right. Oh, look, that that's a nice touch, and good old Sephiroth. Okay. Also, um, this game comes with interchangeable covers as well, so I'll take that out. There it is. So there's one cover that you can that you can use, that you can have, that you can uh, put, or you can have the usual. Right? So it's entirely up to you. It's, again, it's a it's a nice touch from uh, from Square Enix. I'll just put that back in. There we go. I'll fix that up later. All right. So there it is. That is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, uh, for the coasters itself. Now, I'm actually a little annoyed um, because the packaging is slightly squished during transit. And this is one of the many reasons why I always prefer to pick up my games rather than getting them delivered. Right? Because of this. Anyway, these coasters, you get four coasters, by the way. Uh, they are Seventh Heaven theme. So if I open it up, take this out. Oh! There we go. One more. There we are. Seventh heaven. All right. One. Two. That's an awkward uh, way of showing it to you. Three and whoop. Where are we? Four. All right. Made from beautiful cork. Now <laughs> again, I've never used these, but uh, there we are. Those are the coasters you get. Uh, for buying Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I can't remember whether or not uh, this, came's, this comes with uh, them because I pre-ordered it. I probably did, right? because uh, pre-ordering is the way to go. Anyway, but lastly, uh, and the last Final Fantasy game that I have is Crisis Core for the PS5. Um, there's nothing much to show you in this case, okay? Uh, there's a case there, right? There's a front the spine itself, and if I open it up, all you get is the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc. There we are, okay? And obviously everything else is printed behind, and it doesn't have re interchangeable covers, which is a shame, it, it should have, but yeah, there it is, okay? But um, yeah, hey, look, there we have it, my final, final Fantasy collection. Now, I do realize that there are more Final Fantasy games than the ones I have, but unfortunately, I do not own the physical items, okay? Let's just say that times were a lot different back then. I've played them all, but, you know, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, now, like I said, doesn't, you know, it's not to say that I haven't played the other, the other titles. And 
If you're wondering which Final Fantasy is my absolute favorite, answer is and always will be Final Fantasy VIII. I played that game at least once every couple of years ever since it came out back in what what is it 99. It's absolute favorite. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See ya.